Let's move on to the Lions at Vikings. So I look at this line with the Vikings at minus 13, you know, five dimes protecting themselves. The teaser's at minus 14, uh, which is at plus 113. Uh, I, I'm sitting here looking at this minus 13, and I'm like, man, do I take the Lions right now? Because we all saw what happened last night. The Vikings got beat up. They got beat up. They were in control of that game until they lost quality after quality player. And all of a sudden, Cousins looked terrible because he had no weapons. And here, you're going to give me 13 points with the Vikings on a short week? It's just too many points for a team coming off a tough Monday night loss. You know, the Lions can cover this. The Lions can cover this. I... I Want to hear what you guys have to say about this spot? Because uh, as soon as I saw this number, I was like, do I pull the trigger immediately? And then tap the brakes and hear what the guys have to say about this. Uh, Donnie right side, Lions, Vikings. Yeah, this is the reason why I love us having a Friday show, because there's a lot of stuff that's going to come out from Minnesota this week. It's going to determine whether or not you probably want to back them or if you want to even take a look at a total over. Because when you look at the Detroit secondary, you can light them up. And if I'm going to get a healthy Adam Thielen and a healthy Stephon Diggs back there, they're going to do some damage to that secondary. But also, you know, it's really nice to work off a of play action, a healthy Dalvin Cook, who says, and again, you never want to listen to player. Yeah, I'm good. Well, you were so good. You couldn't come back in the second half and you look like your arm was hanging off of your body which one more hit in the following week probably could knock you out for the rest of the football game. And how much do the Vikings actually want to put into this game? They're not really in a sandwich type of scenario. They figure they should be able to beat the Detroit Lions at home. And then you have the Chargers the following week really gearing up for that Green Bay Packers showdown the following week. So at least you don't have the look-away standpoints, but you do play a Monday night football game. It's going to be short rest you're coming home. But the one thing coming home, the Minnesota Vikings typically play extremely well at home. And obviously that record with Mike Zimmer sticks out, but it is a division game. It's 13 points. If you tell me right now, Jimmy, Davin Cook, woo, dodge a bullet, he'll be fine. And Adam Thielen's coming back. They're going to do some damage. And I really like the over in that football game at 42 points. But this is a wait-and-see approach for me, Jimmy. If I can get a fully healthy, intact offense for Minnesota, they'll do damage. What do you think of David Bow at quarterback? Do you like what you're seeing from him? Donnie, do you like what you're seeing from David Blau at quarterback? I mean, it's, it was his first start, surprise in the first half. Oh, my goodness. It's like we have a pretty good quarterback here, but the bottom really fell out in the second half. Now you get some film on him, and he's going away on the road in a tough environment. I'm not buying into the rookie just yet, Jimmy. Whale capper, Lions, Vikings. Yeah, no. I, 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 I don't care what is coming out of Diggs and these guys on the Vikings. They got beat up in a very tough, tough football game, and they're on short rest. I, I want to take the Lions here. Now, I, I get what the guys are saying, and uh, it all started with J.P. Chang, never lean Lions, Rob Job repeating it, Robert Weimer saying, another stay away game for me, Cousins probably rolls, but never lean Lions. Whale Capper, should I be leaning Lions here? I don't mind leading lines. Uh, I'm probably going to stay away, and I think Donnie nailed it. This is one of those that you really need to do a lot more injury information curating before you make a decision. But let's just, for the, spe say, for the sake of speculation, let's say that I think your first most important question is, is David Blau going for the Lions as quarterback? And I think he probably will. I, I liked his kind of enthusiasm for chucking it. Uh, obviously, it didn't manifest a win for the Lions on Thanksgiving, but it got him a cover. Uh, and to a degree, I think it gets them points in this game. And if it doesn't get them points, it probably gets Minnesota points because it's going to set them up with short fields or pick sixes, things like that. Um, but Vikings secondary is, is a huge, huge issue, in my opinion. They have some huge problems with Xavier Rhodes and Mike Hughes. These guys are not good enough cover corners to match up well with the likes of Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay. So I think you're going to see the, you know, a chance for the Lions to score some points here, which means either take, that, take the points with the Lions or look for an over here. Um, I don't think that you I don't think we'll see Dalvin Cook if I'm the Vikings at least I'm not putting Dalvin Cook out there I think Madison is a very serviceable backup he can do a very nice Dalvin Cook impression I like that he runs hard he runs he's a, he's a more physical type of runner than Cook is where Cook is more slippery and elusive and speedy uh, you know Madison can put some you know put some hits on some guys uh, which should do well against the the likes of the the Lions defense which is playing pretty soft right now so uh, I think that uh, Vikings get a win 
I don't know that it's going to be by 14 points. And I certainly like the uh, the over, especially if you could have gotten one of those uh, uh, early numbers. I think it was like 42 or 42 and a half when it freaking opened. And now it's like, what, 44, 44 and a half. So I still think the over probably has a little bit of an edge to it. But uh, most of that is just based on David. David Blau is going to go chuck chuck and uh, uh, and get you some get you, get you some passing touchdowns. Well, Kepper, my book, Detroit Lions team total is at 13 and a half. What do you think of that? Yeah, see, yeah. Well, yeah, it's not bad at all. I mean, they have great – I mean, what, the, the last uh, Vikings-Lions game was a track meet. What was the final score? 42-28 or something insane? Like, uh, this, is, uh, this is not going to be some, you know, field position, you know, uh, chess match, field goal type of game as far as I can tell you. I think the, the Vikings offense is clicking. Their defense is having, is, is, has some glaring holes. And uh, the Lions, I think, uh, have the weapons to take advantage of that. So 13 sounds bettable as to the uh, to the over on the team total for the Lions to me. 